Coming up on this episode, the Williams 2024 livery has been revealed. We're going to rank it out of 10. We're going to talk about what they said. Then we're just going to have a look at it. Welcome to F1 Briefings. My name is Alex Harrington. I'm an FIA accredited journalist. So is Lydia Mee to my right. Hello. And if you like what we're saying, please do give us a follow on social media. I'm at Lydia Mee F1. You are at Alex Does F1. And while you're there, give SI F1 and F1 Briefings a follow for all the latest updates. Yeah. And uh, if you didn't know, we have podcasts. If you're watching on YouTube, you're probably in the right place because we are going to be watching some videos and looking at some images in a bit. So if you're listening on your favourite podcast provider, of which we are on many. Head over to YouTube, because you want to get your eyes on this. Let's look, first of all, at the Williams. Welcome, 2024. The <laughs> Williams livery. Here's the before and after that I put together earlier. And let's uh, actually, <laughs> let's just get straight on to the actual... Ooh, there it is. There it is. What do you think? First thoughts. I actually really like this one. I know when you put the before and after together, it doesn't seem that different. Mm -hmm. And at mm -hmm. first, here's the journey I went on. I was very excited by the white race suits and that oh, is just amazing. So then I feel like I peaked there. Then they unveiled the car and I was like, uh, okay, it's very, very similar to last year. But then it really has grown on me in the space of about five minutes. Um, I really, really like it. Yeah, I was the same, actually. Let's go back onto these images. I was the same. I, I was excited by the white races, mm. thinking, oh, they're going to oh, go like classic God, they're, Williams. They're so good. With the livery as well, though. Yeah. And then we kind of had this conversation where F1 does this a lot. They tease something really, really exciting, like, you know, bringing back like that classic Williams livery. Mm. And, um, and we were like, no, they're not going to do it. Because F1 never follows through, unlike, unlike my grandfather, Williams never follows, sorry, F1 never follows through on like exciting stuff like that. It's very rare we get something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I um, just don't know where to go from here. But I do, I do really like it. Like I was kind of disappointed when I first saw it because I was thinking it's not that different. But actually darker blue, it looks a bit more mature. The main thing that stuck out to me is the pure number of sponsors on this mm. thing. James Vows, salute to you, sir. You have done bloody well. I mean... All sorts of stuff. The money should hopefully be kind of rolling in a bit faster for Williams now. And, you know, James Vowles has consistent, consistently said it doesn't take a year to make these improvements. It takes 10 years, 5, 10 years. So, look, this is stage one of Williams getting back to the front of the grid. I bloody love it. Shall we talk about... Um, you know what? Before we go any further, let's watch the YouTube video that they revealed. Here we go. Look at that the pinstripe does it for me as well i love that yeah. red and white pinstripe that makes me very excited mm. i love i love what they do with the duracell battery mr alex alban they're looking very serious see Lovely this man. is where i got excited because i was like it's an all white race too yeah logan sergeant red white and blue of the car fitting for him <laughs> and uh, james vows looking at all the lovely money he's making from these new sponsorships <laughs> Oh, it does look great, doesn't it? They have done an amazing mm. video, haven't they? And look at that. Look at that. That got me so excited. How many times do you think they practiced that? Like the three, Ooh. two, one, cross your arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James Vowles needs to be in the uh, in the new, you know, the F1, like, starting, oh, yeah. you know, the, the, the introduction they have, yeah. where, where George is like, Boom! I think, <laughs> I think uh, James Vowles has it down. He's got the he's got the sultry oh. look <laughs> nailed. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm really excited about this. I think it's great. Mm. I love the mix between the classic and the new direction that Williams is going with under James Vowles. I just think it's really cool. Uh, I've got another. Oh, I've got another here. Ooh. Here we are. James, uh, Alex Alban's new racing helmet. Look at that. The blue and the pink works, and that his that's his new logo as well. Yeah. New logo from Alex Alban. Um, I actually prefer the, the last one, the very angular A. I don't know. I really like that one. I, I like the new one. I think it, it's difficult, though, because it's oh, not like see, a square. Look at it with the white race suit as well. Oh, it all just cool. works. That's really cool. Also, with the race suits, I do feel like as amazing as it would have been for them to have done a more traditional livery, kind of paying back to the history of the team. Mm. Their whole thing right now is like, respecting the history but also like moving forward mm -hmm. it kind of doesn't make sense to have 
the race suits and an old livery. I, I, I kind of get it as much as we'd love to see it. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think James Barnes mm. is looking forward, learning from everything Williams has done, but but you know, dominantly looking forward. And I think yeah. this livery reflects that perfectly. Let's um, go over some quotes, starting with James Vowles. He says, It is a significant milestone to unveil the 2024 livery at an iconic location in New York City. Where? I do feel like they could have gone more in on the location. Like, it's a huge thing. They've built it up that it was going to be in New York, but... It was just in a studio. I know that they've obviously got fan events going on around where it is in New York. And, mm. you know, fans can go and see the livery and meet the drivers and whatnot. But the actual reveal of the car, it could have really been anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, fair enough. Let's continue. Um, he says, continuing, <laughs> the FW46, that's the name has been the focus of the team for many months and there is still a tremendous effort going in from everyone at Grove to deliver our challenger for this year. As we look to build on the momentum from last season, we have a driver lineup in Alex and Logan that is capable of consistently fighting for points while helping lead our development for the future. I think Albon especially is just such a great asset as long as he's at Williams and not Mercedes. Since joining Williams racing a year ago, I've seen this team pull together to overcome a number of challenges and claim seventh in the Constructors' Championship, which meant a great deal for everyone involved. We've also shown the world that we're building the foundations for moving forward. We'll continue to strengthen the team, both on and off the track, through improving our infrastructure, investing in our people, and attracting fantastic new partners like Komatsu. Go Komatsu. Of course, there's still a long way to go on this journey together, but I know our fans, partners, and everyone at Grove HQ is pushing as one to create new history for this iconic team. It will take time, but everyone's support is integral to help drive us towards success in the years to come. I'm looking forward to seeing what this season holds for us. Uh, Vals is such a level-headed creature, isn't he? He's so good. I think he's, he's so, so good. Also, just the way he speaks mm. is, is really, I don't know how to describe it, Brilliant. It's, yeah, it's almost kind of inspiring, isn't it? Like he's he's just so good in the way that he communicates and I think it's almost been like a breath of fresh air having him come in. He's a team principal that's not afraid to just address the problems. He speaks and you kind of trust that he's not c kind of trying to cover anything up or anything like that. Mm, mm. He'll come out after a race and go straight onto social media which is going to be a huge way forward or way going forward that teams communicate, communicate with their fans and he just will go out and be like this is what happened Abon crashed into the wall and this is this is well, why not. yeah but that happened last year yeah yeah no touch wood doesn't happen again but um yeah he's just been so so good for the team and also with I think it's important with a historical team that's been going for so so long it could be quite easy for them to stay quite old-fashioned yes I agree so to have him coming in I think it's been amazing i think it's just opened the doors into williams for fans mm. hasn't it yeah definitely. you know they are just being open like you said if something goes wrong they explain why mm. and they don't sugarcoat it and he's so good at explaining it as well yeah definitely just yeah he's definitely. amazing Big let's fan. um let's get Al alex alban now he's short and sweet from alex uh coming off the back of a very positive year we're hoping to build on our progress into 2024 working hard to make some good steps forward in performance We've asked a lot of the team and the factory to get this car where it needs to be, and we've also slightly changed the philosophy of the car. So I'm interested to see if we can improve some of the characteristics it has historically had. It will require an adjustment in driving style, but I'm confident it will be a change for the better. Um, I would assume they're looking at Red Bull. Uh, we don't know for sure, but I would assume they're going, well, there's the kind of mm. objectives, there's the target, let's see what we can do yeah i think we can assume a lot of the teams this year will be oh, totally. looking to the rb19 for some inspiration yes definitely definitely oh that is my slack going off in the background logan Sargent. finally after unveiling the great livery i'm now itching to get behind the wheel of the <laughs> fw46 and keep developing as a driver i've had a productive off season that has allowed me to pr uh, prepare both physically and mentally for the year ahead Taking the time to properly reflect on my rookie season, there's been a lot of lessons learned and experience gained that can only benefit me as I enter the new season. I know my goals this year. I'll be looking to build on the progress I've made seeing, uh, since being part of the Williams Racing family. I intend to help contribute more to the team's success. Everyone at Grove has been working tirelessly to deliver the FW46 over the winter break. I can't thank them enough for the hard work and the support they've given me. Hopefully, we can achieve some great results together in 2024. 
they all seem very optimistic and I like that. Yeah, I mean, they're going to, though, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, well, like has. This... has. Okay. <laughs> they're not optimistic. Okay, fair. But the majority of teams, for the launches, especially, like, it's an exciting moment of the season. Like, they're trying to ramp up excitement from fans. Like, they are going to be very positive, aren't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. This reveal made me it got me so pumped Mm, for the 2024 season and i hope you are too so comment down below out of 10 one looks like crap 10 love it i want to sit on it let us know down in the comments what you think while you're down there subscribe like the video and ding the notification bell (laughs) make sure you do that thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video